Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Bridget. I'm a nurse practitioner. Just wanted to give a quick update on my POTS. Um, got a Holter monitor put in today. I'm going to wear it for 72 hours. Well, every day I still have symptoms. It's hard for me to tell like, is it my asthma or is this part of the long COVID? Um, but I will say that my symptoms are better than they were um, I would say maybe even a month ago. I still have really bad days where I'm like extremely fatigued. I still have bad days. Occasionally, I will need to take my heart, uh, my medication, my metoprolol. A win that I will give myself is that I've been able to just kind of deal with the symptoms without taking the metoprolol. Um, and then when I'm not exercising, just walking around, like if I'm, again, if I'm sitting, I'm at 60s. And then um, when I stand up or when I'm walking around, I'll be in the 90s, but I'm not. When I go from sitting to standing, I do cross that, um, I do cross that 100 threshold. Like I may go to like 110, it may spike, but then it does tend to come back down and stay in the 90s and not go over 100, whereas before like, it was, um, if I didn't take the medication, I'd be over 100 all the time. So um, this has, let me see if I can, this has a little button on it that like I'm supposed to press and then I document um, if I felt like uh, faint or light heart, uh, lightheaded. So this device is made by Boston Scientific. And um, see, I just got up to go grab this pamphlet and like I'm lightheaded. Um, what was I gonna say? So it has my information here on the other side. And then you just write down, um, like I'll try to maybe take a picture of this and, and upload it cause you won't be able to see it. But like you write down the date, what you were doing and um, like what symptoms you had. So it's a little log. It uh, brings a charger. She gave me uh, extra stickies because I did want to go exercise today. Um, I did want to go exercise today. I don't want to have this holter on and just sit on my butt the whole day. Um, I do want the doctor to see that fluctuation because when I've been in his office, um, I'll be having a good day and I'll be in the eighties. So, um, I do want to show him that I'm, this is not all in my head. I'm not crazy and that this is really happening. So, um, when I'm done, I just put this portion just this portion in this box with the charger and then it already has a label and I just go to UPS and send it off. It's really comfortable. It's really comfortable. It's just uncomfortable like if I'm uh, like wearing a seatbelt and then it presses up against there. And the nice thing about this is that it's um, fully waterproof. It's safe for showering, bathing and submerging in water as deep as three feet. That's pretty cool. You can use it vertically or horizontally. I don't know, I may try horizontal tomorrow or something. The new uh, Omicron vaccines should be coming out soon. I'm praying I don't get COVID again before I can get that next vaccine. I'm kind of holding off until the new one comes out because the CDC says you should wait eight weeks between vaccines and I don't want to get, it's now been three months, right? So I'm due for a vaccine um, since I had COVID. And, um, but I don't want to get vaccinated and then the new ones roll out and um, I have to wait eight weeks to, to, you know, I have to wait eight weeks. So I'm trying to see if I can hold off until, um, I'm trying to see if I can hold off until the new ones come out. And I mean, it's just so crazy. So my husband actually tested positive for COVID. Um, he did a PCR randomly and he tested positive, completely asymptomatic. Um, I also tested and I was negative, uh, thank God. But it's just so bizarre. And this was this was quite some time after I have had it because I had my I had second COVID in May. Um, so just completely symptomatic and you know everyone's different that's the thing so you can't invalidate someone else's symptoms or someone else's experience just because you didn't have that experience um, remember to be kind compassionate empath empathetic to your fellow human beings um you know my husband completely asymptomatic just like if you happen to get covid and you're completely fine and it's a mild symptom and you get basically no symptoms you can't be like oh that's nothing i mean it's it's like the flu you know there's 
it's like it's nothing there's thousands if not millions of people that have had covid and you know if you get it and nothing happens to you thank god right thank god and i'm happy for you but there are thousands if not millions of people right now that have had covid and are having long covid symptoms and it's completely changed their life um i had other health issues before covid but this has completely changed um everything i had all of my other symptoms kind of like taken care of and i was stable and now this situation where like on any given day i wake up i'm super dizzy i feel like i'm gonna pass out i have heat intolerance um it's really affected my activity levels it's affected my quality of life i'm trying to make the most of it because i know that you know what i'm going through there's people going through 10 situations that are 10 times worse but it's also not easy to have lived your life one way and all of a sudden you have to adapt uh, adapt to a new way of living i had been trying acupuncture but i kind of fell off from that just because um i went on vacation and then i had i had some doctor appointments i needed to, to follow up with so i uh, do plan on starting acupuncture again in september to see if maybe that can help calm my central nervous system um but yeah uh, drop a comment below if uh, you're suffering from long COVID symptoms. Let me know if you've improved. I do think I'm somewhat better, so that is um, that is somewhat reassuring. Instead of like it's just a plateau of like the same symptoms every day, the fact that I'm slightly better, even if I'm like one percent better, that is um, gives me hope for the future. Um, but uh, please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. I work really hard on these videos. Um, I have a challenge right now. I'm trying to hit 30,000 by the end of September 2022. So make sure that you subscribe so that we can hit that goal and we help other people. I have a lot of educational videos so you know other people can see my educational videos and learn from them and it helps them. Oh, uh, challenge, make sure you do one random act of kindness today.